No more pet peeve videos. No more trolling. I'm not going to stand for it. Let's move on. So I've decided to do a record find, um, record finds video. I've had these for quite some time. Um, for the most part, I have what I've what I've picked up um, since before Christmas. Some I've put away um, in the collection, um, not too many, um, and I just. I really don't remember which ones I've listened to and I've put back. I'll be quite honest. I've been listening and, you know, doing so much. Uh, listen, you know, I, I got a new pair of headphones. I got a new pair of headphones, which is nice because I can sit right here while the family is doing something. If they're watching, you know, driving Miss Daisy or, you know, watching a chick flick, I can just sit there and go to my world. So anyway, I'm doing a lot of listening. So I'm going to start off by saying um actually start off by saying that this video is going to be a little different in the next few videos i'm going to try to get the problem fixed soon um sooner than later but you're going to notice that you're probably going to have me watching a video that is slim and then it's blackened on the side i'm using my phone uh, my ipad is on the fritz so i'm gonna have, we're gonna have to deal with this for right now okay i do apologize i'll do the best i can okay so uh you watching from my review on Barry Gibbs 2016 album in the now his uh, his solo album his his uh, second solo album uh, certainly better than his last one to be honest with you don't judge guys trust me Barry Gibb in the now good album if you're looking for the review like I said don't judge it's a good album Next one I'm going to be doing, next review, not next, but another review I'm going to be doing is Blondie's uh, 2017 Pollinator album. Classic Blondie sound on this one. Uh, three of the original members. Um, so I'll be looking for my for uh, that review soon. Blondie's Pollinator. It's good. Good sound. Classic Blondie sound. And another one... I have, I am thorough, I am thorough, what does that mean, uh, thoroughly pleased, I have, I've been holding out on this one, I've been looking for an original, but um, original is just so fucking hard to find, unless, I mean, I, I, I can't pay, I just can't see anybody paying three, four, five hundred dollars, um, I saw a test pressing of this, somebody was asking almost three grand, so, um, this is Metallica's Kill 'Em All. It's a reissue. Um, I've actually grown to reissues just within the past couple, like literally within the past two two weeks or so. I'm generally not one for reissues, but um, I've been happy with with a, with what I've been finding. You know, I've picked up some some. Uh, you know, you've seen some of the reviews I've been doing, and those are all um, good pressings. And um, I found you know obviously Blondie's new album. It's not a reissue, but it's a new album. And, you know, I saw this and I said, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't get the original uh, pressing. I'm happy with this. Um, the price was good. Um, and it says that it was, uh, the album uh, was re remastered for the first time. It sounds great. It really does. I'm, I'm not going to do a review. I don't think I have to. I mean, this is classic Metallica. Um, Metallica's Kill Em All. I love I love that cover. Um, I do have a confession, though. I've never listened to this album until I got this. And I like it. I like it a lot. Of course, I listened to Metallica when they were more, um, when, you know, when, you know, Justice for All, Ride the Lightning, you know, that kind of stuff. Of course, I've heard all that. That's a no-brainer. But this... I think because this was before I really got into them, I was more into like Molly Crew, that kind of stuff, and then you know, when, you know, of course, when you know, you know, Ride the Lightning and and and, uh, and Justice for All for All was out. I mean, it was it was all over the place, so it was it was easy to to listen to it. But I've never never heard this one, and and I've listened to it the first time, and it was 
definitely a difference with the um, with their stuff after this. Uh, it's the sound. It's not the sound that's different. It's um, I think they're more commercialized, in my opinion, after this album. Not that it's bad. I'm just saying, definitely, this is raw. And I think they they became more commercialized after this. This sounds great. Reissue, recommend it. Um, yeah, check it out. Barnes and Noble, under twenty bucks. And if you're a member, you get ten percent off. You get a coupon. You get twenty percent off. That's thirty fucking percent off. You do the math. So let's move on. Um, this is going to be a sort of a hogpodge of <clears throat> the things I've bought for a dollar. Uh, quickly, um, I was at a thrift store and I bumped into um, somebody. I knew her father back years ago, and I was looking at records, and she goes, "Oh, well, I'm selling, I'm selling the house, and blah 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 blah." And she goes, "I usually have like a, I usually have a, um, a garage sale every weekend," and she, and I said, "Do you mind if?" You know, I don't want to wait till the weekend. I said, do you mind if we just kind of go and look right now? She goes, sure, absolutely. Um, everything there was was pretty much mint. Um, it was, yeah, I just couldn't believe what I was finding there. Um, a lot of that stuff I've already put into my collection. I really don't remember exactly what I got and what I put away. Um, but some of that is in here. Uh, that was, uh, they were a dollar a piece. It was a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff. Um Frank Sinatra, Duke Ellington, um, and some few, a few other things, um, and it was kind of cool because I had like I was the only one there, and I was able to just kind of go through it. And she had a lot of stuff, but some I just wasn't interested in. Another pile I had answered a Craigslist ad, um, and that was maybe about I don't know a month, month and a half ago, maybe a little more. And it said free records. I asked no questions. Boom. 15, 20 minutes away from my house. Come on down. I was the first one there. I asked no question. I just, I just, I, I do like, I do like to ask a question when I'm there. A lot of people, when you answer these Craigslist and let go ads, um, they don't let questions. They just want you to go and get what they have. Oh, well, what do you have? Can you tell me what kind of shape it's in? Can you tell me what you have? Do you have this? Do you have that? Trust me, they don't like that. If it says records, it's close to my house. I'm going to go get it. The worst thing I'll do is I'll throw it away. So I go. I said, I'm just kind of curious about the collection. So she said it was her dad's. He passed away, you know, a while ago. And she's been holding uh, holding on to him for 20 plus years. So they've been sitting in her house for 20, 20 plus years. And she said, I don't know what's here, but these were the ones he cherished the most. I like hearing those stories because I'll always remember that story. And she, her passion was like, she was a very nice lady. She was, you know, the, you know, these were my father's best records. And I just don't have the heart to throw them in the trash. I said, well, thank you. So that's a little bit of this right here. The first one I'll show, um, the first three I'm going to show are a couple of box sets. This is Duke Ellington's Collector's, Collector's Ellington. Okay. 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 Uh, it's a two-disc set. Okay. Complete with the booklet. I will mention this, though. This was kind of neat. I found this in here. I won't read the whole letter, but this is just, this is, I guess, when you're part of the club. It came with a letter. And they said, uh, Dear Collector, we're pleased to enclose the Collector's Ellington, your exclusive two-record collection of performances by Duke Ellington, never issued before on LPs. This collection brings together 24 Ellington records that span five decades and present a rare perspective on the man and his famous band. And there's a little more to it, but to have that, and it looks like I mean, maybe it's just a stamped signature but it's kind of nice little nice little letter to go with to go with that i actually have not listened to that yet i look forward to that very much so that actually was that was um that was free this one was free as well satchmo okay um complete with the booklet i'm not going to open up um all the um discs are um like near mint mint i don't think it's ever been played satchmo the only thing wrong with this is I was picking it up and I mean it, it just isn't really 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 good shape it's look at the see like that okay I was picking it up and I put my finger through right here but other than that free I mean come on 
It's, I don't think it's ever been played. This other one was free as well. All right, guys. Settle down. Settle, settle down. Can you see it? Settle down. Settle down. This is uh, George Harrison's All Things Must Pass. Um, again, mint. This has the poster inside. The discs are in mint, near mint condition. Everything's intact. No, not ripped or anything. Great. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I actually I haven't even listened to it, to be quite honest with you guys. And I, and I, and I apologize. Um, but um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep it or not. But I'll let you guys know. So let's move on with the records. Let's move on with the vinyls. <laughs> let's move on with the records, guys. All right. Um, first one is... Um, this is Earl Father Hines. Okay. A lot of these I have not listened to, okay? And this one's a Duke Ellington. A lot of these, a lot of these are Duke Ellington. Ellington in a magenta haze. Okay, let's keep this short. I was just going to show you the front. This next one is uh, Louis Armstrong, black and blue. These are all original pressings. They're not reissues or anything. Oh, this one's, I actually had two of these. One of them was in crappy shape. The other one, what, this one was in much better shape. And I think I um, Frankensteined it together because this album was, the jacket was in better shape. Okay. Good. And this, I love these. I've, I've might have shown this before. I don't, maybe not, but this is uh, Louis Armstrong, uh, Duke Ellington at Newport. If I remember, one side is Duke Ellington and the other side is Louis Armstrong, if I remember correctly. But I have, I, I love collecting these, um, the Newport Jazz and Newport Folk Festival albums. They're neat. This is Louis Armstrong's Greatest Hits. The best of John Coltrane. Greatest Years, Gatefold. This is Billy Holiday. A lot of these were free. Like I said, some of them were a dollar, but I think most of these are were in the uh, in the free pile. I'm not. I think I put so many away. This one's. Uh, I'm not really familiar with Bessie Smith, to be completely honest, but I'm assuming jazz, right? Bessie Smith. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Louis Armstrong favorites. If you like my video, guys, uh, hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button. If not, moving right along. This is uh, free form, everyone. This is the best of Duke Ellington. I enjoy doing these video videos for for you guys, or for you ladies, and um, thank you for being who you are. Duke Ellington and his orchestra concert in the Virgin Islands. That one sounds really neat. I'd like to put that one on. This is Louis Armstrong, 20 Greatest Hits, Volume 2. Jelly Roll Morton. Oh, I did have a special guest appearance. Duke Ellington, if I have time, I'll get it. Duke Ellington, 1939. You know, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save the special appearance of Stu Gallatin, 1939, for maybe my next video. It's a super, super, super um, great find. This is Charlie Parker, Jazz uh, Perennial. I'll, sh I'll um, share that um, album with. This is Louis Armstrong, Volume 2. Um, I thought of it because when I was looking at, when I was at Barnes and Noble, Barnes and Noble the other day. This is Duke Ellington and his uh, orchestra, uh, Mood Indigo. Um, I saw a reissue of it, and it's kind of cool because I'm finding reissues of albums that I have the original pressings, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to show um, an original pressing on my next video. Fantastic Duke Ellington.